Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. I have a clarinet in my shop that needs all new pads and corks. I'm going to take it apart and I will show you how to do that. If you do not run into problems when you take apart the clarinet, there are not many tools you need to do the job. You need a small woodwind screwdriver and a wooden assembly board and you put the hinge rods and the pivot screws in here and it keeps them in order for when you put the clarinet back together. And you also need a small round nose pliers. The hinge rods and pivot screws from the upper joint of the clarinet go on one side of the assembly board and the ones from the lower joint go on the other side of the assembly board. You want to take apart the keys in a certain order every time so that you can keep track of them. You can start with whichever joint you want, but I usually start with the upper joint. Start out with the four side keys, and usually there are three hinge rods that hold in the four keys. Some clarinets have four hinge rods, but most of them have three. There is a technique to loosening up hinge rods without poking yourself with a screwdriver when it slips. And I say when it slips because it will slip. Not on every hinge rod, but it will slip at times. The way to do it is put your thumb underneath where the screwdriver is going to go, and then put the screwdriver in the slot, and put your hand on the bench. You always want your hand on the bench because when it slips, it will not go very far. The reason you put your thumb underneath the screwdriver is because when it slips, you want it to avoid the body of the clarinet and you want it to avoid your other hand. So when it slips, it will go up and you will avoid your hand and you will also avoid the body of the clarinet. You start by loosening up these three hinge rods and you go all the way until they are beyond the threaded portion of the hinge rod. Okay, that's one. And two. And three. And this is a round nose pliers and it has smooth jaws so you can hold on to these hinge rods without doing any damage. So you hold on lightly to the hinge rod, you do not squeeze hard. Then you push down on the key to counteract the spring tension and the hinge rods should pop right out. Then you put the hinge rods in the assembly board and you pull those out one at a time and you get three to start and then all these keys come off together. The reason there are only three hinge rods for four keys is these keys are together and one goes right inside the other. The next keys I'm going to remove are the A flat and the A keys and that's done the same way except I cannot get my thumb underneath the screwdriver on this one so I put it next to it and also notice my hand is far away from where the screwdriver is so if it slips there's not enough room to hurt my hand so I'm going to pull these out and some clarinets have two pivot screws on the A flat key this one has a hinge rod but sometimes they have two pivot screws one on each side the hinge rod goes in the next hole and you can pull that key off and then you can get at the A key underneath it. Next you remove the two ring keys and start with the bridge key and take off that screw and this is a pivot screw and this is the per first pivot screw we've taken apart on this clarinet. Pivot screws are small screws with a pointy end. How they work is they go into a hole in the key and they pivot around the hole and that's how the key works. That way there's not a long hinge rod that goes through the whole key. Usually they use pivot screws on the longer keys and the reason for that is if the keys bend at all, if they have a hinge rod they will get stuck and if they have a pivot screw you'll be able to have a little bit of flexibility before they get stuck. Pivot screws are very small and to keep them from getting lost down these holes there is a separate set of holes right next to it and put the pivot screws into the smaller set of holes. The F sharp ring key has a pivot screw and a hinge rod on it and I will show that to you. This one has the hinge rod to hold in the F sharp ring key and then it also has the pivot screw at the end to hold in the AD ring key. The next two keys to come off are the G sharp C sharp key and the inline B flat E flat key. There are only two left, the register key and the thumb ring.
The upper joint is all done and now it's time to do the lower joint. And the lower joints start with the F sharp, C sharp lever and the E, B lever and take those two off together at the same time. First loosen up the one hinge rod and then loosen the other hinge rod and then pull those out. These two levers need to be taken off together. Usually they will not come off separately so you need to pull them apart together in one unit. Then you take out the A flat, E flat key and the F, C key and those come off together. There's one hinge rod that holds both of those on. And these two keys come off together and sometimes you need a spring hook to get the springs off so that you can get the keys off without damaging the springs. Next you take off the EB key and there are two pivot screws that hold that one on and underneath it is the F sharp C sharp key and there are also two pivot screws that hold that one together. When there is a set of two pivot screws I take the top pivot screw and I put it in the top hole and then when I take out the lower pivot screw I put that in the lower hole and that's how I keep those straight. On some clarinets it does not matter if the pivot screws get switched around but some it makes a lot of difference and you'll have a lot of problems if you get the two pivot screws mixed up. I took the bottom one off first so I'm putting that one in the bottom and then I'm going to put the other one on the top. Next I'm going to take off the three ring key and there are two pivot screws that hold that one on and after that one's off I'm going to remove the one underneath it, the B F sharp key and sometimes this one has two pivot screws and sometimes there's a hinge rod. On this clarinet there are two pivot screws. Then the last one is the F C lever and again that one has two pivot screws. And that is it. The clarinet is taken apart. And when you're done the assembly board should look like this. And remember there may be an extra hinge rod here for the top three keys. So these may all be pushed back one. And also these two may be a hinge rod. But on this clarinet there are ten pivot screws right in a row. Those each go with the five pairs of keys that get the pivot screws. For review this is the order you take off the keys. You start over here and take them off in this order and then on the lower joint you take them off in this order. In the case if you're wondering why the clarinet keys have two different letter names that's because when you put down the register key on a clarinet it jumps a twelfth rather than an octave so depending upon which register you're in there are two different notes that that key can produce. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos. And also look in the description below for links to other related videos. And also there is a link to where you can get the tools shown in this video.